Hey everybody, welcome to Everyday Journey. Stand by to see what these three things have to do with tilling your garden. Alright, so what we've got here is the Yard Machines uh, MTD brand, I guess, uh, tiller, model number 21 Alpha 342 062, serial number. 1 Delta 149 Kilo 50256 the Briggs and Stratton engine. Um, right now I'm just cleaning it up. You can see it's a 5.5 horsepower motor. Um, this thing is, the only thing I did previous season, or the pre previous time I used it, was took it and made sure that we didn't have any gas in the carburetor. That's the key guys. Um, well that's one of the keys. Make sure that you clean out the carburetor um, and by that, just if you can, you know, use up all the all the gas that's in it. The only time you have to worry about that somewhat is with the two cycle engine, because your gas has the oil in it. So every time you run out of gas, well, you kind of run out of oil too. Um, so you just kind of have to to think of that. But um, so just going through and cleaning the tines off here. Uh, go through right here. I'm opening it up and, and cleaning out the the well, looking anyway at the air filter. Um, and this one obviously needs to be replaced but it wasn't completely stopped up you can see here I've gotten most of the dust and debris out of it it's just old so this time I'm gonna use it um, but I will get another one that's what I do at the end as I go through everything and I look for what I need to replace so that I can do that over the next year or so that I'm waiting to, to you know use it again you know there's got plenty of time to wait on parts to come in so well, we'll go ahead and do that. So, right here, my next thing is, and you can see it right here, is uh, is my carburetor does not, you know, I don't even have the clamp on here for the for the fuel line. That's because whenever I was done with it at the end of the season, to empty out the fuel reservoir or the the gas tank there, is I actually just disconnected that and let it run off into a into the gas can, so that it was empty. Um, and now getting it ready for the season, I'm putting that you know, putting that back on it so that we won't have fuel leaking out everywhere. Um, so the next thing, check the spark plug. Spark plug here, pop it off here, and uh, pull it out, see if I need to do anything with the spark plug. Um, this one, since this, these things rarely get used, so the spark plug should be good. The thing is, it needs a little bit of uh, a little of attention to clean it up a little, make sure it runs a little better. Now this right here is not recommended. It's not too bad for getting the spark plug out, um, but for putting it back in, you really don't want to do that. Uh, I did not have my ratchet at the time, so I went ahead and took it out with that. Um, but whenever I put it back in, I made sure and, and found my ratchet so that I didn't have to worry about possibly breaking that spark plug off in, inside the, the cylinder head there. So now you can see it's nice and clean. Put it back in, should be good to go. Alright, so the next thing is to uh, just put our fuel filter, or sorry, our air filter back on. Um, just put it back on the same way you took it off, or at least watch the way I do it here, um, just in case yours is mixed up. Um, and the next thing is check the oil. This one right here has got the, uh, you know, we've got a place on the front and the back. Now these things right here, you want to open them up, you want to make sure you got oil coming all the way to the top. Um, there is no dipstick on it, so... Check it here, check it on the back side of the engine as well, and, uh, and, and make sure you've got oil in there. Replace this periodically. Alright, so the next thing we need to do on this thing is open it up and check out the, uh, the belts, or the belt. Um, this is the belt that goes to actually drive the tines. So we take off the cover, just got the three bolts right there, or three nuts, two bolts, one nut. Um, take it off and check it out. As you can see here in a second, I just checked the tension there. It seemed to be like it was operating fine. Um, but, and I'm just going through here and kind of cleaning stuff up a little bit, looking at it. You can see in there that the uh, the other oil reservoir place is right there. Um, but we've got a crack in this belt. I haven't started tilling yet, so it's not a big problem. We'll just go get one. Um, but we got to take it off of there first to be able to do it. All right, so to loosen this belt, You've just got this tension pulley or tensioner pulley, um, but it's got a, uh, a bar going over the top of it to kind of keep the belt on it from slipping off of it. 
we just have to take a couple of wrenches on each side of it to, uh, to undo this bolt so that we can actually take everything off and get it loose completely from, from here. So, to take this belt the rest of the way off this pulley, we have to take off this bolt that you see right here. Um, it's right there. Take that off and it will actually allow you to, uh, to adjust this in a way to, to get the belt the rest of the way off. All right, now that the belt's off, we just go through here and put everything, all the bolts back in. Um, that way they're where we need them whenever we go putting this thing back together. So but now we need to go get another belt. All right, so I took the, uh, the belt down to our good friends at Advanced Auto Parts. They found me one. This one's a bit loose here, so we probably need to adjust the tension. Um, but actually, I don't know, I think that's about right. Because we this has no clutch, it basically uses the belt here for uh, the friction on the belt for a clutch. Um, so whenever you pull the handles, it engages it, cause it to actually spin the, the crank there. So um, I think it's good to go. We just need to put the cover back on. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. All right. So now we just fuel it up. Go and set the uh, set the carburetor, set the choke, turn on the fuel, put the throttle where it needs to be, start it up. You see this thing? It takes one crank. I think we bought this in uh, what about '95 probably, and this thing starts in the first crank. I don't know if it's the Briggs and well, it's got to be. I mean, it's a Briggs and Stratton engine. It doesn't get used very much, but um, the thing works great can't complain about it other than the fact that it's kind of big and it kind of will jerk you around quite a bit which was an issue with my mother because that's who I bought this for originally and uh, well, it's just it is what it is could have got her a smaller one but who knows if it would have worked as well or even still been working now all right so now we just take the air filter off so that we can get another one while we're waiting for uh, the next season go ahead and pull the the fuel hose off Make sure it's in the off position. Pull the fuel hose off and uh, drain it into a, uh, you know, into a gas can here, and uh, that way we don't have any fuel left in the in the carburetor for one, but in the gas tank is for the other. Um, so we go ahead and drain that real quick, and then the uh, and then we hook the hose back up, and then we start doing the cleanup for it. And yeah, this is where you start seeing some of the stuff that I actually had. Look at this. This is some wire. I had made my own, uh, what do you call it? Well, I think I'll talk about it here in a second. But once you pull everything off of there, you clean all the mud off of it. All right, guys. So uh, at the end there, all I did was uh, waited for it to dry. Went ahead and took the old wire brush. Um, and also I have the, uh, the regular handheld one. Um, and just just cleaned it up a little bit more got all the places where there was any rust um, and clean that up let it dry out well and prep it for some uh, some paint um, I just take a regular primer um, I guess like rust-oleum or something like that something that's gonna keep it from rusting any further and as you can see on the tines there the tines of it were green it's because I've done that before um, that helps keep them I mean they're they're not very thick they're not going to last very long if you can't protect them. If they're going to rust out, you know, because what do you use it once, twice a year? So we can't really do that. Um, but anyway, here is the biggest thing. Those three things there, uh, <laughs> that was all the crap that I had that I found in the garden. This was the surprise. I mean, all this crap right here, this wire, this is, this is from my uh, letting too much you know one of those wire cages um, it's kind of self-made wire cage that one right there it had gotten flattened in there too much too much weeds and stuff because I haven't used the used the garden in a year um, and whenever I went through there to mow guess what I found so it shredded it in there um, and then of course the tiller found the rest of it so I hope the rest of it anyway these these are from last year well from the previous year before that we used it to go out there and snip things um, they're stainless steel, so I just clean them up. <laughs> Luckily, the t 
tiller didn't really damage them that much. Um, but the biggest surprise was this right here. I mean, I'm going to clean this up and show you guys what it looks like so that maybe you can give me an idea how old this might be. Um, I've been tilling this garden for about 10 years. I've never found this. Um, I'm pretty sure I just happened to till deep enough or it just happened to bring it up this time. But that surprised me. So I'll clean it up and show you guys a picture of this. Uh, but that's it. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Definitely like and subscribe. I'm trying to put more videos out here now that it's springtime and I'm actually out and about doing things more. Then, uh, and it's not cold as crap. Then hopefully I'll make some more videos for you guys. So let me know if there's anything you'd like me to make that's better. Um, maybe some vlogs or something like that. Um, who knows? I could probably, uh, I could do something for you. Um, whatever you think might be better. If you have any ideas and things you've seen in this mess I call my garage that you'd like me to work on or something, um, let me know. So, anyway, you guys uh, take care. We'll see you next time.